Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Store channel videos. My dear friends, today we will see this fuel valve and let's quickly check the demonstration because this is the first time that I'm making this video and I hope we will stay together to see this interesting uh, demonstration. Thank you that you stay tuned always to the channel and our community became really really big. So let's open the cover. Okay, we remove it. And I believe really in this engine, I'm thinking, okay, let's see. In the Himsa engine, when you remove the fuel injector, one important thing is to do is dismantle, yes, this high pressure piping and remove inside there is a pipe, a high pressure pipe which delivers uh, the fuel. Let's see if it's similar. So we remove also the o-ring and that is it. Okay, it's screwed down and there is a hexagon. Yes, it's a, almost a similar. Yes, it's exactly the similar piping in the Himson engine. But there is another tube, there is a second tube and also here we have a flange and also one o-ring inside. Okay, it's a little bit different but almost uh, really really much so we remove two bolts uh, and then there is a special tool bridge special tool and then for sure in the middle something will go so we will pull out uh, our injector let's see let's see ah okay Okay, so it is some kind of pull uh, effect on the injector and then remove it. So here we will uh, remove the injector, we will see how to remove and here we will see the injector probably in uh, all overhauling by piece. So let's make the overhauling and let's also take another look from uh, our view of the simulating that things not from the view of demonstration and quickly on I will uh, remove the cover so let's remove the cover itself and then direct we can proceed uh, as I have told my friends before everything must be isolated the fuel must be close and for me the best solution is to change over and you will not have uh, really really dirty hands it will be more easy uh, the fuel it will be not so sticky uh, okay let's remove the o-ring let's come a little bit closer okay here let's use this spanner for sure, okay, you will have a lot of spanners. It's not only one spanner like here. Okay, let's withdraw this piping. Okay, like this, this flange, metal flange, and the o-ring next on. So I will go now on the top. From here we have finished. Okay. And I will look down. I really like this isolation, how it looks like. It's really, really nice. So let's immerse from the top. Let's immerse and see more better from here. This is our injector here. So, okay, we will unscrew these two screws so it will be free. Okay, and then we will set this special tool. So let's see. Ah, okay, the special tool attached here. And by tightening, okay, this side, then remove. So it will be pull. It will uh, make some kind of pull effect. And uh, this is also uh, called extractors. 
okay and we have removed our uh, fuel valve also inside inside after removing okay somebody need to clean and also we will need to take some lapping for sure lapping must be take place um, in the Hibson engine here on the bottom there is also one metal ring which provides a uh, additional sealing um, to the fuel injector so now we have all the parts here we have everything ready our injector it's tested it's tested and we, uh, it's here it's ready okay let's see let's get more closer to see all the days oh wow it's really really nice so let's place it back the o-rings will be replaced everything will be replaced and now what we have to do it will we push it down and we will place the nuts in the position and we will tie them so you will have some kind of ratchet with extension and a socket for tightening here and then for sure you will have some kind of torque uh, to apply so from here we have done we have set uh, our injector in clean surfaces down the cylinder head and also be careful my dear friends uh, something to not fell down inside the combustion chamber if something fell down my dear friends please always uh, tell that to your engineers because it will be really really unpleasant to start the engine and everything will be damaged don't afraid uh, to say that thing okay if it happen it will happen but try as much as possible to be uh, really really careful when you are making such jobs do not hurry and if somebody makes you hurry do not listen him because the only thing that you will make you will make some damage uh, to property and also the most important you will make damage uh, to yourself i know that this is not good practice uh, to push the people to make their job as much as possible quickly because uh, this is a uh, more prone to make some a danger also to make some difficulties later on and as much as possible everybody have uh, his own pace i have listened many many times from chief engineers why you're making so uh, long or something like that but really if uh, we give them to make the job for sure they will make much more time than we <laughs> that is the only truth and so uh, never give any attention to that because uh, most of them they also forget uh, how really really touch the tools and uh, <laughs> in the last contract we have one chief engineer he even uh, when he touched the dirty he tried to wipe his hands just imagine uh, this is a chief engineer wow his hands became dirty okay we don't care about them okay we continue our simulator here and we try to become as much as possible better always and in all times so my dear friends here we have finished our simulator and later on we will get here to our dismantling of the fuel valve so get involved and also don't forget to share the material across the youtube channel so from adventure story my dear friends bye bye see you in the next video